Grogu? We're all of those frog ladies' eggs that you like so much. We best go and get some from the grocery store. Grogu, this is in the way. Now, for God's sake, give it a bloody rest, mate. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Paul here again, and it's converted back to the cardboard box room because today we are opening cardboard. And in specific, this piece of cardboard here. Yes, it's 2022 Topps Chrome Star Wars Mandalorian. And that's right, there is one autograph card in this box. And there'll be some other bits and pieces, which I'm sure are extremely shiny and may have numbers on them. So, without me or further a waffling on, let's get to a galaxy which is not so far away and open up this box. But just before we do that, remember to hit that subscribe button and if you do enjoy the video hit the like button at the end it's much appreciated maybe leave a comment about what your favorite card was let's get back to the crafting mat so as always i am back on the crafting mat in a poorly lit room but hopefully i've worked out an angle which won't cause extreme glare so let's get ready to jump into hyperspace and uh open up this uh, this box it's got a nice little dent on the edge and um, I want to try and keep it intact to a certain degree so there we go we are in I'm sheeting this box of its uh, tops wrapping so we should get an autograph at worst case well I say worst case in, in, a, in a in a case which may not be ideal we may hit a redemption. Uh, in a worst case, it'll be a complete error and uh, we won't hit anything. So uh, this was a relatively expensive box. Um, I got it a little bit cheaper, um, but it, it, it was still um, relatively expensive for what it is. So we've got uh, six and 12 and 18 packs of four cards and a lovely piece of protective polystyrene which thankfully is where that little dent is which is good so just checking your 18 packs and four cards i don't know what the odds are on on the other bits and pieces um i'll leave it there and you can pause it and and read that um th that the the war and peace they have to write on odds i don't really know what extra stuff it, obviously there's going to be plenty of different coloring um uh, there's some different odds for like different uh, autos and uh, sketch cards and things like that. So let's see if, if we are going to be lucky. Now, I do have sleeves to the ready, which is handy. I am semi-prepared for this. And let's, let's have a look and see what these are going to be like. First off, the card quality is amazing. And there is going to be more screen glare in this than there are in one of those new Star Trek films. So uh, Mayfield... Um, and then we've got a Grogu, and oh my gosh, look at that. So they do put the comic book art in there. That's fantastic. And that's going to be like a refractor, so there's like five of those. Uh, there's a Moff Gideon. That is an awesome card straight off the bat. Look at that, extremely shiny. So let's pop that one over there. Try and keep it organised, Paul, before you get too far into a mess that's, that's what we're gonna do fight to the finish there uh, with uh, Mandalorian and Moff Gideon and um, we've got another uh, Grogu so these are the um, the kind of styles of the first season and second season I can't remember I think these borders are the first season it's been a while since I watched it as well another comic book card this is more than I signed up for that's fantastic as well. So two of those, hopefully we get more than two inserts. And is that a, um, I thought that might be like some kind of refractor, but it's not, it's just really cool of um, Fennec. So you're gonna take them from each side of the stack. No particular order. Just get ripping through them, get them open. Right. So what have we got in this one? Uh, meeting with Gorkoresh. IG-11. And we've got those funny spider things. Concept art. It's pretty cool. 
pop that one down there. And we've got meeting the Jedi, so Ahsoka. Next pack. Caught the corner of it. And I've rescued it. Uh, Fate of the Mandalorians. I've got that armor sitting in there. And <laughs> Mandalorian's bold move, which looks relatively like an extremely blank card. It's quite shiny though. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a refractor. I think they've just got a shiny background. Boba Fett. That's a cool card. That definitely wasn't in the paper set. Armoured and ready. Um, and that looks like it's just another insert. And there's Grogu again. Obviously she uh, featuring heavily in The Mandalorian, being one of the main characters. And uh, being on the front of all the uh, cards. Okay, we did safely manage to rescue that one without damaging it. That's just a bit dust on it. So Grogu again. Uh, return to uh, Navarro and then oh we do get another concept art which is amazing again that's fantastic Jedi Ahsoka Tano very cool uh, and then sailing into the trap so will we get some random stormtrooper autograph or will we get a main character there is Ahsoka and Grogu. Uh, I've got another flying scene. And then Mando again, taking Grogu. And then we've got Saved by the New Republic. So just a base pack. Probably gonna be a couple of those in the box. So if there is, uh, if it's a similar size set, I can't remember what the arts are like from those, but that means there'll be about 150 also base cards. These ones are starting to get their curve on as chrome cards normally do. Uh, helpful kill. Mando takes off on his jetpack. <gasps> I'm gonna take that. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna take that as a win. I, I think that's a relatively good auto. <laughs> I've got a feeling that could have been, uh, it's IG-11. I've got a feeling that could have been quite a terrible, you know, there's chances it could have got a real terrible, and that's a, that is a fantastic autograph as well. That, I'm, I'm chuffed with that, actually. I think that is, um, that's a relatively good little win, I think. We shall sleeve that one up. You're not the biggest star in um, in the world, in the Star Wars world, but certainly a pretty big, you know, pretty big uh, in the Mando world. Oh, I'm gonna have to sort that out later because it clearly doesn't wanna. There we go. <laughs> What's he doing to it? Um, don't worry. There's no harm. No harm was. No harm has been. Um, there's no harm to the card. It's just a tight top loader. Right. Well, that was cool. Well, cool. Kind of put me off. It put me off. I haven't hit anything actually in in packs that's decent for a long time. Uh, it was with his flamethrower, uh, Mayfield surprise visit, lovely, don't worry, we've got this, Mandalorians, and so I've got four of those now, out of the um, five, imagine if you get a full set, would we'll be unlucky, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure you probably could have got autos with like the client and stuff like that, yeah, they wouldn't have been as good, Good base cards, I'm sure these are, I'm sure some of these are refractors, but it doesn't say, oh, there we go. Um, S, 
see, yeah, that's season two. Yes, and then the other one that says season one, so yeah. Oh, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on there. No idea. Certainly does look like some of those are a kind of refractor colour. Um, yeah, so kind of, well, that's definitely, yeah, definitely different. Well, maybe it's actually season one is not shiny and, and season two are. Lovely, another awesome comic book character card. They are fantastic. The force is strong with this little one. I wonder if you do get, um, so that is the fifth one. That is all five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go, the full set. That's fantastic. Uh, that's got to be, that's got to be the same of every box, surely. Otherwise, I think that would be extremely weird. Uh, let's see, Armourer. Cool, another character card. Uh, dropping into uh, Trask. So nothing, um, nothing numbered yet. I don't know if you're guaranteed a, a numbered. I'm sure there's numbered in it. I'll have a look on the next pack. Uh, there's Grogu. Uh, fight to the finish. Um, that one's just uh, going to be a concept art, I would have thought. Yeah. I might have missed some more of those. And then the season one. Uh, Grief Cargo's Gift. Um, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, definitely numbers. Um, Armin and Ready one in six. Uh, blue one in three. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely should be numbered in there. Righty ho. Let's see, if we're getting this one. There's something interesting at the back. So there's Grogu. Um, the ATST, oh, it's IG-11 character. So they're meant to be one in six. So it looks like you get three of those in a box. Mando's big save. From the odds on the back of the pack. Another pack. There is cool again. Uh, Fate of the Mandalorians. And we've got a duplicate. Okay. We'll take that. It's Grogu. Pretty cool. Uh, ten tension at the Tuscan camp. Don't worry, I won't do a um, I won't do an impression of a Tuscan raider. I'll save that for an intro. Another pack is IG11. Uh, there's that weird piece of sky. Um, that's a season one card, and it's definitely a refractor. It's definitely got a shine on it compared to the, the edgy of us uh, as dark troopers okay three packs left i've got to be honest if you paid the full retail price for one of these boxes and you did hit a uh, naff auto then uh, you would be relatively disappointed we've got something green here and it is Crashing through the ice. Number to 50. Okay. Mm, yeah. yeah. Not the best card I've ever seen. Um, could have been a, could have been something a bit, could have been a character. Let's put it that way. Could have been a character. But then again, we're done all right with the auto. So one, one numbered, one, just, just the one numbered. Put that down there, green. And it's the 50 as well. That's not, not a bad box, not a bad box. I can't imagine there's many people though who are gonna be collecting, crashing through the ice uh, rainbow. Um, daring escape plan. Meeting the gore crash. Speed Bike Pursuit and The Last Assault, which brings us on to the last pack. Now, fingers crossed, a bit of last pack magic. I've had fun. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. 
uh, return to Navarro, and we got something blue in this one. So we have hit something else. I'm going to try not to spoil it. Uh, helpful quilt again. Oh, and we've got a blue. The force is strong with this one. What is blue? Is that going to be like 100? 99, there we go. I will take that. I think that's a pretty good numbered card to hit. Definitely better than um, crashing through the ice. So, there we go. That's a box of Mandalorian Chrome. And I've got to be honest, um, I went into this with relatively low expectations, considering my last start was opening, which was um, absolutely disastrous. So we've got a very decent auto. I think it's a decent auto of Misty Rosas. Uh, apologies, I don't know who, who Misty Rosas is. And um, yeah, a decent out of 99 comic book art. And uh, yeah, I've probably got more concept arts in there. I probably just haven't pulled them all out. So there we go, if you enjoyed the video, again, please leave a like. If you enjoy the channel and all the random bits and pieces are open, all the stickers, all the cards, Star Wars, football, all that gubbins, why not hit the subscribe button and I will see you all very soon.